All right, everybody. Happy Friday. Big waves to you. Good to see you. Man, I missed you guys yesterday, but great lesson, Hill. Awesome, Andrea. It was a great lesson yesterday, but I did miss you, but I'm excited to be back with you kicking off the Friday going into the weekend. And the word for today, and we got, we got new people uh coming in all over the coaches uh, i've been getting reached out to this week it's like i attended my first time i've attended my first time so we welcome you and we're so glad to have you a part of this community um so the word this morning came from actually facebook land okay and it was we, we didn't get a name from it but hopefully they're tuning in because the word for today is improvement. Improvement, as we're going into this weekend, um, looking into the definition, a thing that makes something better or is better than else. I think most of us could probably share the definition of improvement. You know, and we've all heard as we've self-developed, looked to achieve bigger things, that if we could just go 1%, get 1% better every day. You know, how many of us has heard that before? Just 1%. Just be 1% better today than you were yesterday. Be 1% better tomorrow than you are today. You know, I think we would all agree if we did just a little bit, it would we would we would start to improve, whether it's our health, whether it's our finances, whether it's our professional career, relationships. And then I came across this, it said, by Les Brown. How many of you know Les Brown? He's a good one. Perfection does not exist. It does not exist. Perfection does not. One person was perfect. Now, Arlene's close. Arlene's close. <laughs> I love Arlene. So, perfection does not exist. You can always do better. And you can always grow. And recently we heard, you know, progress over perfection. Am I making progress? Am I going 1% more today than I did yesterday? It's not perfect, but it's better. It's progress. So think about that in whatever it is you're trying to thrive at right now, or I'm trying to thrive at right now, I got to be. I got to have pro progress over perfect because perfection does not exist, but progress leads to improvement, which is the word for today. And so where I went really quick was how do I create, what's some things I can do to create improvement every day? And because really continual improvement is an unended journey. Like it's going to be a journey of life for me. So how can I look at the little things, like, like the little things that I could do each day? Okay, number one, I could plan ahead. So yesterday I could make my plans for today. Before I go to bed tonight, I could make my plans for tomorrow. Like plan ahead. Number two, set goals. What do I need to accomplish today? And then out of those things, which ones do I need to eat the frog first? If you've ever read that book, which one do I knock out first to, to assure that I get done? Um, number three, accept challenges. Over this past 2022, have you had any challenges? What about your professional career? Like, has any... As you're in your professional career, has there been anything in your company that's kind of like maybe slapped you around a little bit, maybe gave you a challenge, maybe gave you a, 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 a side punch in the ribs? Possibly. But here's the thing. Accept it. How can I move around it, over it, under it to get past the challenge, not look in the rearview mirror and focus on where I'm going? 
creating improvements every day, if I'm focusing on learning something new, which I think we all are every morning for 15 minutes on the coach's corner. I learn so much new by just studying a word I've heard over and over and over and over again in my life. Number five, stop complaining. This one probably was a gut punch to me because I feel like I catch myself complaining. And really the people you're closest to, you really complain to them, don't we? Like Colleen, I'll see Colleen. Oh, Colleen, how you doing? Good to see you. But that person that's talking to me like 15 times a day, ooh, I'm complaining to them. So here's a challenge for all of us. If complaining is something we're in right now, maybe pick up that John Gordon book, The No Complaining Rule. You know, just an idea. Now, here's another one. Have a good laugh. Have a good laugh. Like, I thought that was interesting when have a good laugh was how I could create improvements every day. But I think having a good laugh, like maybe reading a good joke, maybe watching a good comedy just for a little bit, maybe doing something for that, that puts us, you know, a laughter in me, gets me more excited, gets me smiling more, gets me attracting more good inside of me. Okay. For the day. So don't let's, Let's make it a challenge to not go through the day to day without having some laugh in us. Uh, because at the end of the day, life is short. It's a vapor in the big scheme of things. So, Andrea, I'll turn it to you. Great lesson for the YouTuber, uh, not YouTuber, Facebooker that suggested this. Yes, this was a powerful one. I love it. I love it. So the quote that I found was well, I think we talked about this, but strive for continuous improvement instead of perfection. That's our Kim Collins out there. And, you know, what I kept thinking about, like, of course, we all want to improve. Like, I don't think there's anybody, maybe there is, there probably are people out there that say, I don't need to improve anywhere. But I would guess that most of us know when we look in the mirror that there are some places that we can improve. And I'm not talking about physically, like when we look at our true self. And how can we do that, though? Like, what can we do in our day to day life to slowly improve? So first of all, <laughs> I love this one the most. It says, take a break. How many of us run, 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 and we're trying to do all the things and get better in all the ways? but we wear ourselves out. So we go two steps forward, but then three steps back because we wore ourselves out. So make sure that you refresh your body, refresh your mind so that we can start with that new vigor. Number two is learn to say no. How many of these do I need to know? Learn to say no, as great as it can be to say yes to new experiences. We also need to learn to say no and not feel bad about saying no when we're doing it in order to protect our well-being, when we're overwhelmed, overworked, overtired, and burnout can truly harm us, harm our health, our peace of mind. So we have to learn to say no to some things because if we don't, we're going to be saying no to things that are even more near and dear to us. And if you need help with that, like I always do, highly recommend, Arlene knows all about it the book by Lisa Turkhurst, The Best Yes. So highly recommend that book. It's one I have to read twice a year. Number three is look to the future. So if we want to improve, we have to be forward thinking and not brooding on our past. I, everybody on here, like I think you all are beautiful, amazing, lovely humans, but we've all made mistakes. We've all screwed up in some way. And if we get stuck in the past, it makes it harder for us to improve moving forward. Number four is to get a mentor. So we are surrounded just like this group by people that are improving and are better than us in ways that we want to improve in. So find a mentor, find somebody that you can tap into their knowledge base, learn from them, which will help us improve. This one is going in kind of a different direction, but if we want to improve, we got to eat well. We got to nourish this body and take really good care of it. So if we are what we eat, as the saying goes, let's make sure that we are putting in good things because what we consume 
makes a huge impact. We all know this on how we feel each day, how much energy we have, how much mental capacity we have to give. Like, you know, that crash after that cookie, right? Or maybe some of us might eat the sleeve of cookies when it's Girl Scout season. And afterwards you are crashed and grumpy and you're not improving in any way, shape or form. In a similar line, number six is to move your body. When we keep ourselves in motion, when we exercise and we you know, stretch and we do all the things that make us feel good in our skin, we can improve and we're more focused, we're more positive, we're more energized. With that, number seven is <laughs> get your enough sleep. I think, did I say it on here, the statistic about people over the age of 45 and sleep? I don't know if I did or not, but I'm going to share it again because I am traumatized because I am over 45. And the quote was, or the statistic was that for those humans that are 45 years of age and above that get less than six hours of sleep a night, their risk of heart attack and or stroke goes up 200%. That is terrifying to me, <laughs> it's terrifying. But I think about if sleep has that much power over our well-being imagine how much we can improve if we just carve out six and a half hours or seven hours ooh, or a glorious eight if you can so get that sleep and then lastly how can we improve hydrate drink enough water and again it helps us maintain our weight it helps us maintain our mood and overall health good job coach it helps us maintain a healthy body by you know, getting all of that water in. And how do you do that? I'll give you my tip. And some people, the, namely the ones that live with me, this they think this is the craziest thing, but I literally fill up all my water the night before. So if you've got a water goal, for me, it's a gallon a day. You know, I'm a level upper. So I'm still on that gallon a day. And I fill up a gallon of water. I separate it into my containers. It sits on my counter and it's right in my face, so I can't miss it, right? So if you've got a goal of water, that could be a good a good thing for you as well. So thank you so much for this. And this was an anonymous one on Facebook, but I appreciate you and you turning in your word. And coach, I appreciate your lesson. Yeah, this, this was great, great word for today. And uh, hose way, did I say it right? All right. Okay. I've been practicing in my head the I, whole time I, too. <laughs> I did. I did. I worked it all, all this whole thing. Listen, we love you. We appreciate you. Jose is a new member of our coach's corner. Um, so we're super happy to have you here. Guys, we love you. We're grateful for you. Have a great weekend. We'll see you back on Monday. Welcome, Jose. Love you guys. God have bless you. Have a great hey, week. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.